Today I have a Mission Impossible for Rudy Lutz. So Rudy, you are now Tom Lutz or Rudy Cruz, I don't know. <laughs> Be ready to have three minutes and tell me what a chorale is all about. Now I will call you Robinson, Robinson Castaneda. I'll do my best. Uh, here's my handy. I've got the Choral Veni Redemptor Gentium. And perhaps you remember it, it's for the Advent, the old Gregorian chant. We also call that Choral. Veni Redemptor Gentium. If you listen to that, la da da di 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 da da. Luther in the 16th century, he changed it to, into German and he made a, a bit of a similar melody but which is in a good bar like 4-4 four, four. and then he did Nun komm dir heiden heiland Listen to the Gregorian chant once again Veni redem torgentium Nun komm dir heiden heiland then Luther goes on, Der Jungfrauenkinder kant. And here it goes, Ostem de partum virginis. Not exactly the same, but somehow the same. So the old, the ancient old Gregorian chant going through from, I think, third century. Luther said, I like it. I love this music. I'll take it. I'll put it into a modern sort of way of singing for everybody and take a German text that people understand what they're singing because if they've got the sort of content, biblical content, they're singing, it goes deep, deep down into heart. And then we've got the choral, which is sort of uh, the beginning of that, what Bach uses the whole time in his cantatas, choral cantatas. Now I would like to end this little impossible mission playing and singing the chorale like Luther wrote it and Bach used it. The end was Bach, the Leipziger choral prelude, Nun kommt der Heiden Heiland, this beautiful last verse which he sets as a conclusion. Robinson Schwann was my mission somehow fulfilled. Mission achieved.